Hi everybody, it's uh, great to be here and uh, a warm welcome from, from myself. Um, those of you that don't know me, I'm um, the Independent uh, Chair of the uh, Adult Support and Protection Committee and Child Protection Committee in Dundee. But I'm here today uh, with my hat on as Chair of the Convenus um, of Adult Support and Protection um, that meet regularly uh, at the national group. So uh, a warm welcome to to everybody uh, here today and isn't it great to be here in person although I noticed the old trick of sitting at the back hasn't changed I didn't see people rushing to the front uh, to, to fill the chairs but it is great to get together and I know if this uh, event was uh, really heavily sub subscribed um, we've got full attendance today but also had a, a waiting list of 50 people as well so uh, that was good. So it just demonstrates that the importance of people being able to get together face to face to share ideas, discuss things and, uh, and really um, uh, have an opportunity to have um, a, a real good face to face uh, sharing of, of information and ideas. So um, that's really good. I was reflecting um, this morning that it's 2007 since the um, original Adult Support and Protection Act was introduced in Scotland. And again, we were pretty much forerunners, one way right across the UK and uh, uh, in different areas around that. And we've made real significant progress uh, since that time. And if you think back to what we did at that particular time and, uh, the, and the challenges that there were. So I think we have to celebrate those successes, but we all, we always know there's more to do. And it seems to be the more you resolve, the more issues uh, keep, keep arising. So, the agenda is really busy and there's lots of um, areas that we are still working on nationally and I'm sure that you locally are also working on um, together. So um, this event was really well planned by the Learning and Develop ne Development Network um, and of course it's just after the Adult Support Protection National Day which we had on Tuesday. Um, and I know that many areas are doing activities all week to celebrate adult support and protection and to make sure that uh, we, we raise the profile um, heavily. So tomorrow, uh, tonight, uh, when I leave today, I'm off to Dundee and we've got a local event where we're um, having our practitioners and others uh, coming together to, to spend the day looking at particular issues and I know they've been uh, doing quite a lot as well in, 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 in the areas right across Scotland. And uh, I think there's been some good communication um, that's been uh, highlighted in the media and, uh, and locally. And uh, thanks to the communication group, we've got a national communication group who've been working on that for uh, some time, uh, and they do a sterling job, and they've helped us with the agenda and uh, the comms um, for um, the ASP day this year, and I'm sure they'll do the same uh, next year. So the focus um, of the Adult Sport Protection of the National Day has always been on raising the profile in the media and with the public and our strapline of seeing something, say something, is something that I think we should keep promoting um, everywhere as we move forward. There's been a lot of concern nationally about the use of social media on uh, young people and adults and I think that's one of the areas that we will be continuing to explore. Certainly it's an issue in my Child Protection Committee and Adult Protection Committee. <coughs> And um, so today we'll be hearing more on sextortion um, uh, and the focus on that is very welcome and we'll be hearing from uh, more from our colleagues in Police Scotland about that today so I'm sure that will be of interest to, uh, to people in the audience. There continues to be national work progressing on the implementation of the advice guidance for adult support protection and there's some, see, some key practice issues such as transitions and the old uh, chronologies <laughs> um, issue uh, is continuing to be um, looked at nationally and again I'm sure that from an inspection point of view certainly uh, Dundee is still um, grappling with the whole issue of chronologies and how we embed those in a more uh, effective way so there's a lot of national work going on on that and, and moving forward we are trying to work in a much more joined up fashion uh, across the public protection agenda and uh, to develop this further we've got a joint child protection and adult support protection in person event on the 17th of April so if you need to know more about that you can speak to Brenda um, if you need to she's got more inf information about how to be involved but I know that transitions is going to feature in that um, particular session because that's something that cuts right across child protection and adult support and protection. Um, there's an opportunity to raise key issues with the Minister. We have um, a National Strategic Forum, I don't know if uh, many people know that um, that exists or happens, um, and um, that with the support of the Scottish Government team, 
We use that to raise any positive work that we're doing um, uh, in, in this area, but we're able to also raise any key concerns or key themes with, um, with government. So I would urge people, if you've got uh, burning issues that you think we should be highlighting uh, to the at the National Strategic Forum, I go as a representative of the um, national conveners, but um, there, there are others that attend as well with a whole range of multidisciplinary and, and different agencies, then please have a word with me throughout today if you, if you want to, and uh, we can certainly look at uh, how we do that uh, into the future. But it is a really good opportunity. And I know the Minister has a real interest in this area as well and gives up her time to uh, be involved in that. So I think that's, that demonstrates the, the commitment there is uh, at national level to um, taking this agenda forward. Um, as a community, we continue to learn a lot from learning reviews and we'll hear about the recent review by the Mental Welfare Commission, which highlights um, a lot of learning for all committees and all practitioners, I think, uh, when you're working with people with chronic high-level complex needs. And so a lot, to, I've heard it, um, a presentation of that before, and there's a lot of sober learning from it um, uh, as part of that. So I look forward to hearing more about that today and thinking about how um, that applies in your area. So the Care and Spectrum collate learning reviews and uh, they will share their findings today as well and uh, they'll be focusing on both the good practice and the strengths that we have and the areas for improvement and I think that's really important because every learning review that I have seen or significant case review um, has got a lot of good practice as well as the areas for learning and I think we need to celebrate the good practice as well as the areas that we need to be improving from so um, I'm sure that will be um, discussed uh, later today as well. The workshops are your, an opportunity to share your learning and ideas, so please get involved and share your ideas, your good practice, um, take ideas from other areas, there's no point in reinventing the wheel is there, so if there's areas um, that you think are doing the work that you need to do or have got good ideas, I'm sure they'll be happy to share practice and happy to share uh, contact details today and I think that's a real opportunity for these events is to really network and get together and uh, just find out what's happening right across Scotland. Um, I'll draw your attention to the range of available resources on the adult support and protection. Um, there, there's a lot uh, available to practitioners and to um, areas nowadays. The, the Care Inspectorate's new website um, contains useful inspection templates. I think um, Brenda sent some information out about that just recently. And IRIS have been doing some sterling work um, and providing new resources to support practice. So please, when you get a chance, have a look at those. I'm sure there'll be opportunities to hear more about them today as well. But uh, um, those websites are pretty available to everybody and they're worth a browse when you have a, a spare um, half an hour just to, to sort of look at those new resources. So I'm not going to spend too much time today because you want to hear from the, the speakers that know a lot more about this <laughs> agenda than I do. So but I do hope you have an enjoyable day. Uh, my colleague Susan McLaren will be closing the conference today because I need to be a little bit earlier. But I look forward to hearing um, about um, the, the, uh, from colleagues and getting involved in the workshops today. Uh, I'm nipping out to do a chief officers group <laughs> at the present time, but I will be back. Uh, but I, I'm, I'm really looking forward to the buzz. There's already a great buzz in the room. I really look forward to hearing it, uh, hearing your ideas and uh, sharing um, all the good work that's, that there is going on right across Scotland. So um, without much ado, um, I hope you have a really good day. So thank you. Thanks, thank you. Um, for anybody that doesn't know me, I'm Brenda Walker. I'm the National Adult Sport Protection Coordinator. I'm terrible with faces, so I might very well have spoken to a lot of you in teams meetings and things. But I'm really looking forward to some of people face to face today. I don't recognise you, I do know you, or we've met, or you went to have a chat. Obviously, I'm here the whole day. Come and grab me, come and grab me at the breaks, at lunch break, or whatever, um, and it'd be great to catch up with people I already know and, and new folk as well. Um, it's already been mentioned how well subscribed the event was today, and. I think that's probably because it's a long, long time since we've all been in the room together to talk about adult support protection. From memory, I think probably the last time I can recall was maybe about seven years ago. So even, even before COVID, there hadn't been a kind of event where we, we got the chance to come together uh, in this kind of way. And there's a whole load of different people in the room, um, from conveners, 
adult support and protection lead officers, our NHS colleagues, we've got police colleagues, there's academics, so it's a really, really nice mix. So really excited, looking forward to today. I um, hope everybody had a really good, productive ASP day, National Awareness Day, that was, uh, as, as Elaine mentioned, happened on Tuesday. And um, if you were in receipt of the videos and the, the, some of the resources, hopefully those were helpful to you in local areas. And I certainly noticed a buzz and, and sort of information being tweeted and retweeted, etc. Um, so I hope you had a really good day. And really what I was asked to come up and do was none of that. It was just to introduce the next speakers. So we've got on to that now. We've got our police colleagues um, coming up uh, just in a second to, to talk a wee bit about sextortion. Um, and it seems to be a growing theme and something that police have, you know, have made us aware within the ASP community is, is a kind of growing issue. So without further ado, I'm going to introduce my two colleagues and one is nice and easy, one Trish Jackson, but his colleague has written her name phonetically for me. So it's Kasia Ofkacek. Ofkacek? Got it, I've got it. 